I now yield two minutes to another distinguished member of our committee, Mr. Doggett of Texas. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. The majority leader is absolutely right about scare tactics. If you are an uninsured American and you get a diagnosis of cancer this morning, or you're hit in a head-on collision this afternoon, or you have a child born with a disability, you ought to be very scared. He's also absolutely right about the need for patient-centered health care. We're concerned about that. We're concerned that patients without insurance today are centered. They're centered right in the bankruptcy court. More and more Americans face with a health care crisis. This bill has nothing to do with the Internal Revenue Service or the Treasury Department or restricting their rights. It's about restricting your rights. Now that we finally have a chance to protect Americans from insurance monopoly price gouging, from fine print in the contract for those who do have insurance that denies rights at the very time that you need them the most. That kind of protection about to go into effect along with the right of so many Americans who are uninsured to go to a competitive private insurance marketplace and pick the policy that is best for their family and for many Americans to have a premium tax credit, a tax credit that they want to deny to you. And what alternative do they offer? Well, the best source is the official Republican website. I urge you, though you'll find plenty of misinformation there, to go to GOP.gov because you'll find one very revealing fact. When you look there to see what the Republicans have to offer as an alternative to Obamacare, it says two words, in progress. It's been in progress since two and a half years ago when they voted the first time to repeal Obamacare, right up to today when they vote for the 40th time to do it. They have only one alternative to Obamacare, and it's called nothing care. It's called do nothing but allow these insurance monopolies to continue to deny rights to our people. The folks I represent from San Antonio to Austin, the gentleman has do you expired. have another 15 yeah, seconds? 15 seconds. The folks the that I represent, the seconds. working families from San Antonio to Austin, they deserve to have some assistance. We have provided it to them with guaranteed rights. Some are in effect now, some about to go into effect. Don't let these Republicans deny those rights to our families and replace it with nothing care. I yield back.